Hi guys, nice to see you again. Welcome to Enzo Science Sharing Time and let's crack chemistry together. Please subscribe my channel and turn on the notification so you can watch my video as soon as they are posted. Also, don't forget to leave your comments below and like my video. Before we start today's topic, let's have a quick review for last lecture. Firstly, we know atoms consist of nucleus, which carries positive charges and cloud of electrons, which are negatively charged. And nucleus can be further divided into protons, which are positively charged, and neutrons, which are electrically neutral. Cloud of electrons is a model which is used to represent possibility of electrons appearance everywhere within an atom. Next, we learned that electrostatic attraction exists between positively and negatively charged particles. For example, electrons and nucleus. The last point is mass and size comparison of these particles. I need you guys to remember 10 grand to 100 grand times and 1800 times. What do they mean? If you forget the above details, then I strongly recommend reviewing my last video. Now, let's move on to today's topic, section 1.4, classifying atoms. In this section, we will cover three points. How we identify different kinds of atoms, how we present an atom's structure, and what are isotopes. Then I'll test your understanding with five exercise questions. The first point is different types of atoms. We know there are various types of atoms, but how do we classify them? We use atomic number, which can be denoted by capital Z. It represents number of protons in nucleus. And more importantly, we use capital Z to distinguish different types of atoms. For the same elements, they certainly will have the same capital Z, which means they have the same number of protons. For example, when capital Z equals to 1, it means the atom is hydrogen, 6 means carbon, and 79 means gold. Here we need to remember, capital Z means atomic number. And you can link this to bank of A and Z, just in case you forget it. Mass number is denoted by capital A, which is the sum of number of protons and number of neutrons. So capital A means total mass of the nucleus, or the atom. This picture shows there are six protons which are black in nucleus. So capital Z is six, meaning this is a carbon atom. And there are seven neutrons, which are yellow in nucleus. So capital A equals to Z plus seven. The capital A for this carbon atom is 13. It is a carbon-13 atom. All right. Regarding the second point, let's take a look at structure of atoms. Basic structure of atoms depends on three values. Number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. We have a standard way to represent an atom, showing these values. Here, X means the symbol of elements, A on the top left means mass number, and Z on the bottom left represents atomic number. You may ask me, where is number of neutrons? Let's look at this example. For aluminum, number of protons equals number of electrons, which is 13. Number of neutrons is indirectly represented by capital A minus capital Z which is 27 minus 13, equal to 14, meaning there are 14 neutrons in this aluminum atom. Now let's move to the third topic, isotopes. What are isotopes? For the same element, its atoms must have the same number of protons, right? But can have different number of neutrons, meaning they have different mass number, which is capital A. For example, there are three isotopes for hydrogen atoms, and they each contain zero, one, and two neutrons respectively. Another example is carbon atoms. They all have six protons, but may have six, seven, or eight neutrons. Well, is there any connection among isotopes? Let's take a look at their properties. 
point one. Different elements have different number of isotopes. For example, hydrogen has three isotopes, but chlorine only has two. Point two. Isotopes have identical chemical properties, which means there's no difference among them when they are involved in chemical reactions. Which means we do not need to distinguish them during chemical reactions. But they do have different physical properties. This one is straightforward because their mass number are different, so they must have their own mass and densities respectively, isn't it? Point four is some isotopes are radioactive. We won't dig further about this point, but basically, when you see this symbol, you will know radioactive substance is around you, and you need to be very careful. An example is carbon fourteen. It is useful when determining the age of a piece of fossil, like dinosaur. All good. Now let's have five questions before we wrap up. The first asks the difference between atomic number and mass number. We introduced this point just now. Atomic number or capital Z means number of protons. Well, mass number or capital A equals number of protons plus number of neutrons. Next, for chlorine thirty-seven, can you find out its capital Z, number of neutrons, and number of electrons? Well. This symbol tells us capital Z equals seventeen, so capital A is thirty-seven, which means capital Z plus number of protons. The number of neutrons is twenty. For an atom, number of electrons equals number of protons, so it is seventeen. Okay. Question three: What is the element with eleven protons and twelve neutrons? For this question. You can refer to periodic table and know this is sodium. The fourth question is: How many more neutrons does an atom of copper sixty-three have than that of copper sixty-five? Because they are both copper, the proton numbers are the same. Then their mass number difference equals their neutron number difference, which is sixty-five minus sixty-three, resulting to two. The last question asks, what property do isotopes of the same element share, and what their differences are? The answer is, isotopes share identical chemical properties, but different physical properties. Great flashback time. Today we unlock section one point four, classifying atoms. We introduce atomic number, which is capital Z. And mass number, which is capital A. Structure of atoms is denoted by element symbol capital A and capital Z. For atoms with the same capital Z but different capital A, they are isotopes, sharing the same chemical properties but different physical properties. If you have not left your comments, please do so right now to help me make this channel better. Also. Feel free to leave your questions, and I will answer. Don't forget to like this video and share it. More importantly, please subscribe my channel and turn on the notification so you can watch my video first time. Today we level up to level five, and we will be looking into electronic structure of atoms in our next lecture. Goodbye, guys, and have a good day.